After six weeks of using a hydrogen water bottle, I keep asking myself, is this actually making a difference? Or am I just feeling the effects because I want to believe that it's working? Now, I know that the placebo effect is real. Sometimes just expecting a benefit is enough to feel one. I decided to dig into the research and get brutally honest about what I'm experiencing versus what's actually proven. A hydrogen water bottle is a scam or does the science back up these health boosting bottles claims? Let's find out. All right, let's start with the basics. Hydrogen water is simply regular water that's been infused with extra molecular hydrogen or H2. Now, you might be thinking, but doesn't water already contain hydrogen? And you'd be absolutely right. Regular water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, hence H2O. But in this configuration, the hydrogen is tightly bound to the oxygen in a stable molecular structure. Now, what makes hydrogen water different is that it contains additional hydrogen molecules that aren't bound to oxygen. These extra hydrogen molecules are dissolved in the water, creating what's often referred to as molecular hydrogen water or hydrogen rich water. The idea is that these free hydrogen molecules are more accessible to your body than the hydrogen that's already part of the water molecular structure. So hydrogen water can be produced in several ways, but the most common method used in portable hydrogen water bottles is electrolysis. These bottles use a small electrical current to separate some of the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gases. The hydrogen gas then dissolves back into the water, increasing its overall hydrogen content, while the oxygen gas is typically released. All right, so to understand how hydrogen water bottles work, we need to talk about a concept called oxidation reduction potential or ORP. Now, ORP measures the ability of a solution to act as either an oxidizing agent, which takes electrons away from other molecules, or a reducing agent, which donates electrons to other molecules. Now, a high positive ORP value indicates an oxidizing solution, while a low negative ORP value indicates a reducing or antioxidant solution. Regular tap water typically has a positive ORP value, often ranging from positive 200 to positive 600 millivolts, meaning it's slightly oxidizing. Now, when water undergoes electrolysis in a hydrogen water bottle like this, the dissolved hydrogen lowers the ORP value, potentially creating water with a negative ORP value. This negative ORP is believed to be what gives hydrogen water its antioxidant properties. The electrolysis process in hydrogen water bottles typically uses specialized electrodes and a small battery to generate the electrical current. When activated, the bottle separates some of the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen dissolves into the water while the oxygen is typically vented out. This process results in water with an increased concentration of molecular hydrogen, usually measured in parts per million or ppm. Now, quality hydrogen water bottles aim to produce hydrogen concentrations of at least 0.5 to 1.5 ppm, with Premium models claiming to reach concentrations of 2.0 ppm or higher. Research suggests that concentrations above 0.5 ppm may be necessary to observe potential therapeutic effects, though the optimal concentration is still being researched. Now let's discuss the potential benefits of hydrogen water. I want to emphasize that while there are a few studies on hydrogen water, many are small in scale or in the preliminary stages. Basically, the field is still developing and larger more comprehensive studies are needed to be able to fully validate many of the claims made about hydrogen water. So it's not that you shouldn't believe the claims made by many manufacturers selling these bottles, but you should approach them with a little bit of caution until further studies can confirm the validity of their claims. So let's compress the main studies available and break things down. A 2024 systematic review in the International Journal of Medical Sciences evaluated 25 peer-reviewed studies on hydrogen-rich water. And the review found that hydrogen water offers many potential benefits. Multiple randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trials have shown that drinking 1.5 litres of hydrogen water daily for four weeks can significantly reduce markers of inflammation and increase antioxidant capacity in healthy adults. These effects were more pronounced in individuals over 30, likely due to increased oxidative stress with aging. Studies in athletes indicate that hydrogen water can reduce exercise-induced muscle fatigue, decrease oxidative stress markers, and improve recovery. For example, female soccer players who consumed hydrogen water for two months showed reduced inflammatory cytokines and increased antioxidant enzyme 
activity, as well as improved gut flora diversity. In a 24-week trial, individuals with metabolic syndrome who drank high-concentration hydrogen water experienced significant improvements in LDL cholesterol, fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1c, and inflammatory markers. Other studies found improved insulin resistance and glucose tolerance in people with type 2 diabetes or prediabetes. And this was after eight weeks of daily hydrogen water consumption. Trials involving patients with hepatitis B and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease demonstrated improved liver function and reduced oxidative stress with hydrogen water supplementation. Now, some studies also suggest benefits for cardiovascular health, such as improved HDL function and reduced LDL oxidation. Preliminary studies show that hydrogen water may improve mood, reduce anxiety and enhance quality of life in certain populations. Animal studies suggest neuroprotective effects, though human data and studies is still pretty limited, so take that with a pinch of salt. Now, this is what I'm here for, the skin health and anti-aging properties, or claimed properties, of hydrogen water. Now, there is some clinical evidence that indicates that hydrogen water can boost collagen production, reduce skin redness and slow visible signs of aging, likely by combating oxidative stress at a cellular level. Now, a six-month trial in older adults found that hydrogen water increased telomere length, a biomarker associated with cellular aging. Now, it's worth remembering that while these benefits sound promising, many studies on hydrogen water have been conducted with small sample sizes and some findings haven't been replicated in larger studies. So again, it's really important to remember to take everything that you hear, all of these claims, all of the studies, all of the research, take it with a pinch of salt, because really, in the grand scheme of things, hydrogen water is still in its early days when it comes to being touted as a health supplement. And really we need to wait a little bit longer for larger scale studies to be performed, for peer review papers to be produced, and really just for more data to become available so that we can weigh up the accuracy and the validity of the current claims. But it is good to have an open mind and if like me you've been on the hydrogen water bandwagon, you've likely already experienced some of the positive side effects that have been mentioned already, which I've definitely experienced some of myself. So one of the most commonly asked questions is, is hydrogen water safe? And across these studies and in health settings, hydrogen water is consistently reported as safe, with no significant adverse effects even at daily doses of 1.5 to 2 litres over several months. Hydrogen is a naturally occurring molecule and any excess hydrogen in the body is going to be exhaled through the lungs. Mild side effects like bloating and headaches are rare and not consistently linked to hydrogen water itself. However, as with any supplement, individuals with chronic conditions or those taking medication should consult a healthcare professional before adding hydrogen water into their regime. So, if you're interested in trying hydrogen water but you're concerned about potential side effects, it's recommended to start with small amounts and then gradually increase your intake over a period of time. This approach is going to let your body adjust and it helps you monitor any potential reactions that you might have. But for 99% of people out there, there's going to be zero issues. Now, there are also some concerns about the hydrogen water bottles themselves. Some of the lower quality hydrogen water bottles might use substandard electrodes that could potentially erode over time, possibly releasing metal ions into the water. This underscores the importance of choosing a reputable, high quality hydrogen water bottle if you decide to purchase one. Now, the hydrogen water bottle that I have generates hydrogen at 3.0 ppm. It uses ROHS certified materials, including borosilicate glass, platinum titanium electrolytic parts, and heavy metal isolation technology. Technology. So while it's tempting to be swayed by the price of a product like this, when it comes to your overall and long-term health, the last thing that you want is forever chemicals, heavy metals, or anything like that getting into your system. So if you can afford it, it's best to invest it in a high quality bottle. Do your research first, make sure that the materials used are safe. And personally, I wouldn't get my one of these off of AliExpress or Timu, but that's just me. Right, so how long does water stay hydrogenated after you've added the hydrogen into it? And do you have to drink hydrogenated water right away? Well, yes. 
Timing does matter. Hydrogen is the smallest and lightest molecule, so it quickly escapes from water. Studies and expert recommendations suggest that hydrogen water should be consumed within 15 to 30 minutes of production to maximize its potential benefits, as hydrogen gas dissipates rapidly, especially if the container is open frequently. Now, this bottle right here that I use claims to retain hydrogen in the water for up to 10 hours, but I personally don't bite into this quite as much as they would probably like me to, so I drink mine within 10 10 minutes. Okay, so does hydrogen water help with energy levels? Well, some users report increased energy levels after consuming hydrogen water, but the scientific evidence for this specific benefit is still emerging. The potential energy boost might be related to hydrogen water's antioxidant properties and its ability to combat oxidative stress, which can contribute to fatigue. Now, oxidative stress occurs when there's an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in your body. This imbalance can damage cells and tissues potentially lead into fatigue and reduced energy levels. By potentially neutralizing harmful free radicals, hydrogen water might help maintain cellular energy production and overall vitality. However, it's really important to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. While anecdotal reports of increased energy are common, large-scale and long-term studies specifically examining hydrogen water's effects on energy levels are still limited. And really, any perceived energy boost could could also be influenced by the placebo effect or other lifestyle factors, which can both offer up feelings of improved health and well-being. Right, another question that I see a lot is how long will it take to see hydrogen water results? The time frame for experienced potential benefits from hydrogen water varies depending on the individual and the specific benefit that you're looking for. Now, based on the available research and anecdotal reports, short-term effects such as increased hydration or a potential energy boost might be noticed within hours or days of consistent consumption. Anti-inflammatory effects might become more noticeable after a few weeks of regular consumption, as suggested by the four-week study showing reduced inflammatory markers. When looking at metabolic improvements, such as changes in glucose metabolism or cholesterol levels, again, you're looking at probably several weeks for these to manifest, with studies typically running for eight to 24 weeks. For exercise performance and recovery benefits, well, these might be observed after several weeks of consistent use, as indicated by the two-month study on soccer players. And the long-term benefits related to aging and chronic disease prevention would naturally take much longer to assess and they're still being researched. But consistency seems to be key for experiencing most of the potential benefits. Most studies involve daily consumption of hydrogen water over weeks or months rather than just occasional use. So it will probably take time for the benefits to become more noticeable if you're trying this yourself. Now for me, after six weeks, I definitely feel more energetic, both mentally and physically. And I also feel like my skin is looking clearer and less ruddy. But the seasons are changing here right now. There's more daylight and I'm also getting more vitamin D as spring rolls in. So... Is it from that or has the hydrogenated water helped? I think if I compare it to previous years at this time of the year, then I'm definitely more amped up. So I'm kind of leaning toward the water actually having an effect on me. So yeah, I'm kind of like 75% convinced now that this is actually doing something positive for my overall health and well-being. So there are other ways to potentially reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, including a diet rich in antioxidants, regular exercise, and stress management technique. If you're an athlete looking for potential recovery benefits, someone dealing with chronic inflammation, or simply interested in exploring cutting edge wellness approaches, and you have the budget for it, a high quality hydrogen water bottle might be worth trying. However, it's important to approach it with realistic expectations and understand that it's not a miracle solution. For those on a tighter budget or who prefer a more established approach to health, investing in high quality whole foods, regular exercise and stress management might provide better value. Basically, hydrogen water is not a miracle cure, but nor is it pure pseudoscience. The antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects are supported by a growing number of peer-reviewed studies, especially in the context of exercise recovery, metabolic health and age-related oxidative stress. So after six weeks of using my hydrogen your water bottle I'm still very much on the fence, but I'm starting to climb down on the side of the bottle. And yeah, I do believe that I'm feeling some positive changes. But I can't say for sure that it's 
all from the hydrogen water. It's highly unlikely it's all from the hydrogen water, especially as the season we're entering now means that the days become warmer, brighter and longer. All things good for mind, mood and body. But for now, I'm going to keep paying attention to how I feel, keep reading the research and I'm going to stay honest with myself about what's changing and what might just be the power of belief. But I do believe it is playing a role in my current mood and energy levels. And I guess that's a wrap. I want to know, have you tried or do you want to try a hydrogen water bottle? And if yes, what are you using? Like, let me know and I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you for joining me for this video today. Have an amazing day and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. So till then, TJ over and out. <laughs>